In this video, how to add HDMI smartphone mirroring to your vehicle. For this demo, we connected Apple TV. Apple TV is very convenient in the car because you can have it anywhere and using the remote, you can control it and you don't have to have the Apple TV in your site. You can just hide it anywhere and pretty much control it with the supply remote. You never have to worry about the updates. All updates happen inside your Android device. So today or 20 years from now, Android Auto is updated here and automatically appears here. You add apps here, so compatible apps automatically appear here so you never have to worry updating about updating the interface because it all will happen inside your phone apple carplay has loaded now you can go into the carplay mode and control all your carplay features this video features the gmc sierra years 2014 to 2020 all NavTool products are 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. NavTool, established in 2002. This interface does not replace factory radio or factory screen. This interface enhances the factory screen with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring, and cameras. All factory features work the same as before. This interface is see-through, meaning the vehicle does not detect that the interface is installed in the car. Let's demo the interface. Press and hold to enter the interface. HDMI. For this demo, we connected Apple TV. Apple TV is very convenient in the car because you can have it anywhere and using the remote, you can control it and you don't have to have the Apple TV in your site. You can just hide it anywhere and pretty much control it with the supplied remote. You can connect also the following devices. NavTool wireless smartphone mirroring device. Roku Premier. Roku Streaming Stick, Roku Streaming Stick Plus, Roku Express, Google Chromecast, Google Chromecast Ultra, Apple HDMI, Apple TV 4K, Fire TV Stick, regular or 4K, Screen Beam Mini 2, and J5 Create USB Type-C to HDMI connection. To leave the HDMI mode, press anywhere on the screen to go back to the main menu. This is a rear view camera. Because this vehicle is equipped with a rear view camera, this particular menu will not show anything. You have three more cameras. We connected a front camera. This is your front camera, left lane watch camera. You can get camera with lines or without lines. Right lane watch camera, and again, you can get camera with or without lines. Keep in mind this cameras just show you what we can do. They're not really adjusted to show any kind of view. All right, to get out of the camera mode, press in the middle. Those cameras also work automatically. Here we're going to demo an automatic camera mode. Thank you for watching. Please click the link on the left to subscribe to the channel or click the link on the right to watch the full video.